Hello folks, it's Dragon Keeper 9600 and almost a week later it is finally time to watch episode 10. Um, a commenter on one of my previous videos told me that I would really like this episode. Um, usually when people tell me that, they tend to be right. <laughs> um, so I'm excited for this one. Um, apparently it's titled Nick Adams, which is a name that I've seen around a lot in Transformers uh, fandom and TF Wiki, but I am not 100% confident how to pronounce um, my text-to-speech function on my laptop claims that it's McAdam, but that has dubious quality. So McAdams, if you might recall from episode 7, I think, is the name of an oil house on Cybertron. More commonly known as a bar. It's a bar. This episode is about a bar. <laughs> Presumably, we will get a repeat of the drunk Decepticon scene from the 80s cartoon. The episode is Microbots. Look it up. It's one of the funniest things ever. But maybe not. So let's dive in and let's drink. <laughs> That's always the, uh, the tone and face I make when I'm about to drink. Let's drink. Pour that shit. Give me a Coke and rum. And then the bartender makes fun of me and says, do you mean a rum and Coke? I'm like, shut up. That actually happened to me once, except I didn't say shut up. I just said, uh, yeah, that's what I mean, uniquely. So I guess the whole going into space but not actually leaving the planet thing didn't work. I guess it's not like they can leave the planet, though. You win this round. Weapon systems are offline. Losing power to engine two. Maybe push that button. Hey, that button you said never to push, it still hasn't been pushed. Maybe push that shit. He leans out the window to shoot at Slipstream, and then he gets sucked out by the vacuum. <laughs> oh my god! He, this motherfucker just drove off into space! His actual idea was way stupider than what I just said! This ain't fucking Energon, you lunatic! You can't just drive off into outer fucking space! Where are your wheels? What are your wheels getting friction on? Surprise! You're in space, I didn't hear that. Ah! Oh, unlike this episode. Party I mean... Right. X gonna give it to ya! That was a terrible idea, B. Exact, thank you. Great job. Whew. Let's knock off early and head over to... Mac Adam. Did you just say McAdams? Oh, it's McAdams. B, do you have any idea what McAdams is? You know, if he did, even if he did get his memories back fully, I still doubt that he'd remember very much of McAdams. I mean, you know what he did there, right? We have to find somewhere to land. Now. You have to remember drinking! It's urgent! Park on the mountain that kind of looks like a head. I guess it's better than G1, where the Decepticons had a base that looked like a giant rock replica of the Decepticon logo. It was purple and everything. McAdams was our old hangout on Cybertron. This is great! You remembered something on your own! Did a lot of boofing at McAdams. That's flatulence. There. That one wasn't active before. So my memories are starting to come back by themselves. Wait, isn't that what they were so. doing all along? Let's find out. Is that not what was happening all along? I guess he remembered the name McAdams when he wasn't plugged in, which Ratchet. Say hi to Windblade. No time to chat, Bumblebee. Medical emergency. <laughs> so a long time ago, this was an old oil house. Someone just fell asleep and then throw up because of the drinking. I have to go. Wow. Wouldn't that have happened in here? All right. Yeah, and there's all these crazy stories about the bot who owns this place. Some say he's one of the original 13 primes. <laughs> McAdam, a prime. <laughs> Are we gonna meet McAdam? 
So this is right after the events of Cube. Cube, the holy messenger who will save us all. I love you, Cube! I want to wear your skin! Is that you on the TV? What the hell's wrong with you? I was lost deep in the acid waste with no energon to spare. Covered in energy leeches. Isn't that right, Bumblebee? Luckily, the sunsets are gorgeous! Hey, Grim. I remember Here's that. My new friend, Wimbley. Huh, I have nothing to say. Fuck yeah, Soundwave's here! Now we can get really crazy! Aw, oh, sick! Ever seen. Huh. I can't believe he's here. I gotta introduce you. Come on. They're both in their tenth round of Devil's yeah, Triangle. That's a drinking Metron. game. This is. But is a public rally really the best way? I'll introduce you later. Yeah, <laughs> I made it dance. <laughs> Dude, I know that the uh, Miss used to be friends with um B, I saw you at the game. Who's your friend? I'm Windblade. Why did you gasp? Polyx is the best. They should have won. No way. They should have won. You remember what I said last episode about Shadow Shocker's voice? Like in the semifinals. Bring it on. It doesn't matter. Is there going to be trouble? There's no fighting in here. Macadam doesn't allow it. Ah, the city speaker arrived. Oh, how, that's Macadam. How did you know that? Windblade, this is Macadam. <laughs> when people saw this guy, uh, saw this character's design, they thought he was Rung, who is considerably skinnier than him. So they're like, man, Rung got jacked <laughs> into the cartoon. It's like, no, that's not Rung. Looks like you, the Bumblebee Cave. What are you talking about? Oh, that's right. That hasn't happened. <laughs> he knows the future. Yet. B, did you hear McAdam? He knew about the cave. Because he's actually one of the 13. Because it looks like me. I remember he used to say weird things sometimes, but look. Her name is Carolyn. memory of McAdams. Get in pad. Don't get lemonade. What's your bumper? Autobot. So Keep things have changed a bit. <laughs> uh, who are you? I do actually like that we get to see the progression of the relations between Autobots and Decepticons as the this war comes war. on. Come back to Caminus with me. It's your home. Cybertron is my home too. Chromia is from Caminus in this version. Just like an IDW. Her her. Windblade, we need your help. We? You mean you and this Decepticon? We need Optimus. Where is he? Deadlock! He thinks he can leave the Decepticons. Oh, this is Drift, back before he switched sides. Pay for his mistake. Hey, hey, there's no fighting in a bar! I've never heard of such an absurd thing! <laughs> Stop! We are here to take this intoxicating substance in peace! If you want to fight, you do it outside! <laughs> you cannot stay here forever. <laughs> I claim sanctuary! This is a sacred space! You can stay <laughs> it's a bar. As you like. That was incredible! <laughs> sanctuary! That's a real compliment coming from a bot like you. I mean, you just drove off a shuttle and blasted a ship with a triple-barreled ion shoulder cannon in midair. Mac, what are you talking about? I think you need to lay off. So is his vision like, <laughs> like there's some sort of quantum thing happening where all of time he's seeing it all at once, like those aliens from Slaughterhouse Five? Maybe he's trying to help us. Not only that, but he told them the stuff that happened just before the access of memories, which means he predicted when they would be looking back at this. <laughs> what are you? Cybertron's not looking too good. 
The war has closed this place down, like everywhere else. Do you think he could use his timeless vision to foresee ah, that maybe he should? City speaker. Care for a little letter, John? I've got my own private supply. So, the lighting looks really good on him. It's very dramatic. To find the all spark. What about you? Not even surprised that he knows oh, that. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. Someone's got to keep a lens on things around here. CB. But it seems like you can see stuff in here. deep space without I can't come with you. Cybertron needs my help. And I can't go home to Caminus. B. <laughs> For some reason. Space won't end your friendship. You and Windblade will see each other again. I know it. Well, he's been right about everything else. Oh wait, he was right about this. You already know that. Friendship, Friendship is magic. You must find the king of the dinosaurs. <laughs> king of the dinosaurs. Where do you come up with this stuff? I love how they don't figure out that he knows the future until way in the present, which means they thought that <laughs> Mech Adam just fucking gibber schizophrenic nonsense at them. Dinosaurs. This is great. Like an old it character in Game Grumps. Now we just have to find out what dinosaurs are. It means find Grimlock. He's telling them to find Grimlock, who is presumably here on Earth. And maybe in the cave that looks like Bumblebee's face. So. Uh, the commenter was right. I love that episode. <laughs> and um, it might be my favorite, actually. And I love it for two reasons. One, Soundwave getting crunk at the bar was amazing. Two, um, I actually like seeing the progression. Like, I mentioned this during the episode, but actually seeing the Autobots and Decepticons being cool with each other to being more hostile to, like, the bar is fucking closed down because they can't. They, like, the war has progressed to such a point that the city's infrastructure's deteriorated and everyone's dead. <laughs> like, that was actually haunting to, like, go from... It, like, it... In principle and structure, it kind of reminds me of the breakfast montage from Citizen Kane, where they start off, like, husband and wife sitting right next to each other and being friendly and chit-chatty and flirting, and then as years go on, they sit farther and farther apart and their conversation grows icier. It's like that, but with a war instead of a marriage. So there's no difference! But anyway, um... Yeah, uh, a few words about McAdam. So Bumblebee saying that McAdam is one of the original 13, by his powers and shit that he does in this episode, you guess by now that he's right. Uh, McAdam is wildly speculated to be Alchemist Prime, who um, apparently after founding the... <laughs> Founding Cybertron, laying the foundation for life on the planet, and contributing in the war against Un Unicron, decided to settle down and open a bar. Okay. <laughs> um, well, I mean, got a dream, right? And hell, he turned out better than Leash Maximo or Megatronus or fucking Quintus Prime or Micronus is kind of a dick, too. Actually, you know what? Alchemist actually has it more together than a lot of the 13. Um, from his powers, though, I like I actually don't know as much about Alchemist as I do about the other, uh, some of the other primes. But the one shape-shifting power he's had seemed to be more along the lines of a Malgus prime who could take on any form. Um, and I don't recall Alchemist being able to see into the future, but fuck it. They don't have to keep exactly to the lore of the aligned continuity. And actually, I'm glad that they're not. But this is, I think, um, actually interacting with one of the 13 is rare. Uh, we got it a little bit in Robots in Disguise and not at all in Prime. So I hope more of the 13 make appearances. And if I'm being honest with myself, I really want to see Solus Prime actually be a character. Like, she got name dropped all throughout Robots in Disguise. <laughs> but not once did she have any speaking lines. Not cool. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, this was a great episode. I loved it a lot. Um, this series is great. And I didn't think I'd be saying that at the end of the first episode a couple when I watched it a couple weeks ago, but now I'm saying that. I love it. <laughs> this is Dragon Keeper Night Season 100, signing off. Um, drink responsibly. <laughs>